Hello everybody. Welcome to Z's Game Corner. No hacks, no cheats, just hard work and smart play make it happen. On uh, today we are playing Ooh. That wasn't what I was doing for effort training. Uh no. That was Shiva training. <laughs> they were hopping into the city of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Gonna be taking on Alice's uh, hard chapter, uh, hard hard mode, last chapter, final boss. Um, support, support, support. Uh, let's go with a Ving, cause Ving is just awesome. <laughs> I wish I had the resources to pull for him. But uh, uh, I am your host, Zerilius, and we're getting into it. And as you can see, my Alice and Paplamo are severely hindered here. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and try it. We got to beat it with Alice anyway. And she's just one of those characters I really, really like, you know. Um, very, very useful depending on situations, especially when it comes to elemental weaknesses, because she just covers such a broad spectrum of the elements and everything. So she's a, a really good choice, you know, especially if you're lacking in the elemental department, you know. And, and I get to show off my Terra <laughs> before she gets awoken, and this is just insane right now they're like oh my gosh i hope they give her overflow with a rewrite later on this month because as it does did say all these characters are getting or all these characters that are being awoken to crystal strength 70 um will will uh get rewrites and everything poplamo is just another one of those that can really use a rewrite. What is this guy weak to? Fire, right? Come on. Not what I wanted. Yep, fire. And holy. Alright, awesome. So let's go ahead and head out the fast fire. You know, um, one key thing when you're using, I would say, the little buff that just a pot that looks like two stars. You know, um, that gives her a free move whenever that pops up. So I know there's the situation like this where you got the 770, you want to get that major boost from the uh, Recom Enchant, you know, but uh, just keep in mind that, you know, once you use for a fire for a holy, it will revert to whatever you want. So let's go ahead and get a free fair arrow off here and then we'll go ahead and do the big move. Holy smokes! Ah! Are you serious? Oh, man. That doesn't bode well for the rest of this mission. Uh, I will not use gems to continue. Ah! This sucks and I hope they give Terra a lot more uses on her moves too like uh, she can use them all right we're gonna go into conservative mood with uh, Papa over here I guess we can do it with Terra as well oh man this is a really tough mini boss I must say you know, and this boss, I remember when her event was out. Uh, I'll say his event was out. Like, the final boss that we're going to be going up against was pretty tough, you know. And we're just dropping people in co-op. In co-op! You know, so the super dangerous boss, do not take him lightly at all. Oh, and this is Max Brave down. Okay. I was like, well, did this bus get... Get <laughs> removed. Oh man, yeah, I'm definitely not getting the score on this. Uh, that is okay. Later on, we'll talk about uh, some artifact passes. I just might as well 
quit this fight right now because I, I don't see how there's any way I can pass it right now. None. I mean, I'm going to be extremely lucky. Like, how is that not doing any damage whatsoever? Zero HP damage. Does he have, like, some kind of veil up? Like, oh my gosh, man. Just stop it. Uh, yep. I'm dead right here. What a tough mini boss. I was not expecting this at all. Alright, let's go Astral Fire. Does that kill it? Nope. <laughs> I'm low eyes for the kill. Oh my gosh. And we'll go ahead and summon in. No, let's not do that. Uh, let's just Ice HP attack. <laughs> Then we'll summon in vain, do whatever damage we possibly can, because there's just no way. None whatsoever. That I were beaten. <laughs> uh, it's all good. Uh, like, uh, just something really important about artifact passes. Later on, I'm going to hit you with some numbers. You know, um... But take it the wrong way, it's just like see a lot of people wanting certain stuff and everything. Like I'm in multiple boards and forums and writing that they got this for this character and just like well that character can get this passive which adds this kind of effect and they'd be way more better. <laughs> way better, you know, with this passive versus what you went after. You know, oh my gosh doing absolutely nothing to this dude so I mean long story short uh, is it's a percentage based game like you know so when it comes to percents you know the more of it you have the bigger the bonus is and you might not see them right away especially with a lot of characters capping out you know, right around 20k and under, you know, without any buffs or summons or anything like that. <clears throat> yes, I am just straight HP attacking him. <laughs> you know, with the ice move. Alright, pop him up, let's hurry up and die so we can move on with the rest of this video. But, uh... <laughs> but, oh, one more. Alright. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, when it comes to percentages, the more the better. So, and if you don't have enough, you probably won't see in, in, any immediate effects. You know what I'm saying? Um, a really good example is Squall. Like, my Squall caps out at about, you know, 22k with, you know, all the buffs that he can give himself, you know. But I pull in partner... Squall, then, you know, they get up to 24, 25k, and I drop that summon, they only get up to 34k, and my squall gets up to 37k, you know, and they can't cap out that damage while my squall can, because I targeted low brave attack uh, for him, I got 6 star low brave attack for my squall, and he can be at 0 brave and hit that 37,000k brave, whereas... You know, these partner squalls that I'm using who probably just went after the 108 attack. You know, they'll get close, but they won't max out. So, uh, oops. Rock thing. Oh, well, uh, this new banner that's up. We're not going to be pulling anything from it as much as I would love for EX. And as useful as she is, we're saving for selfie. Uh... <laughs> Well, uh, we'll go ahead and throw up some screenshots of her passes real quick. Um, and, uh, yeah, everything that her Crystal Strength 70 can get her, you know, um, these are just power tokens. I was saying holding off on collecting these because I want to show off get high red crystals so all chapters from here on out expect some high crystals 
you know, uh, for completing the chapters within the time frame. As you see, there's about five per level down here is ten. Then if we come down here to her last chapter, uh, once I beat that boss, uh, we'll go ahead and get another five. Then when we complete the last chapter, a big whopping 50 high crystals. Which is just amazing. I was sitting here looking for some bloom tokens and everything too. No bloom tokens to be had. But uh. It, it, it'd be nice to get some bloom tokens. You know what I'm saying. Uh, let me collect all of that. It's been driving me crazy all day. Uh, uh, like I was saying. Um, this where we're going to hit you. With some numbers. I'm just going to. Do her real quick, because I know I got a couple of passes for her. Um, it, oh, that is so good. It just costs way too much. So with this buffed attack, uh, raises attack by five percent with active buffs. You know, you get that three times. That goes up to fifteen percent. This buffed attack boost up. You know, max brave and attack, which is probably her best one. You know, uh, max brave and attack by 20%. So, cap that out at 60. The other important one for her is just, you don't really need the trip slip use count, but the blizzard rock definitely need it. But you see what I'm saying is, you know, with like this particular skill, I'm so glad I got the 330 brave with that because 20% of 330, that's like what? 60, 67, somewhere around there. I might be highballing that a little bit. This sounds more like a fifth. Yeah, fifth is 20%. <laughs> you know, so right around there. You know, but when you're talking in terms of like a thousand brave, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that turns into a 200 extra brave get up to 10,000 that's 2,000 extra max brave get to 20,000 that's 4,000 extra max brave versus just the flat rate of 330 max brave you know what I'm saying which you get up to a thousand you got 1,333 or 1,330 max brave you know you get up to 10,000 you got 10,330 max brave you know you get up to 20k max brave you got 20,330 max brave so just that versus you know the bonus bonus uh percentage uh ah bonus percentage buffs you know what i'm saying yes i'm not saying that 108 attack and the 170 initial brave and the 330 max brave are bad stats to get like you get them go ahead and take them like i got uh, 1020 hp right here on this one i kept it because of the <laughs> charge rock triple slip but um god I do kind of want to fit this in here somewhere uh, yeah. no, it costs 15. I'm not going to take that. But, um, yeah, just, just be mindful of that, you know, um, especially when, if you're going after Brave, when a character, if they have, you know, a, uh, artifact skill, kind of like that, you know, where it increases their max brave by some kind of multiplier. Keep that in mind. I mean, you get that multiplier with the 330 max brave. That's even better. You know, because like I said, with percentages, the more you have, the better the effect. You know, but don't sit there and completely discount those artifact skills. You know, because you're not seeing an immediate change or didn't go up by as much as you thought. We'll see about getting the live stream out tomorrow at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. You know, uh, God of War. You know, going to Niflheim and everything. Having fun grinding out there in that area. Oh, I'm honestly dreading it. Because I haven't been to Niflheim in forever. But, uh, yeah. I was, what else was I going to say? Um, 
to, to follow platforms like share and subscribe people like I, I can't stress this enough that I do want to grow this community so if you know people that are playing this or you're just in a forum like reddit or tumblr or something like that platforms I don't use at all <laughs> Oh, you know, and you're in a group that plays this game. Let them know about me, you know, because like I said, I do want to grow this community so we can do more stuff and have a lot more fun on the channel than what we already are. And I think we're having a lot of fun on here, especially with all the, <laughs> all the Evolution 2 fails and everything. And also check out Malifar TC1. You know, uh, he's featured on my on my channel. You know, he plays both this version, the global version, and um, and the Japanese version. So, if you want a sneak peek at the future, you know, and what weapons characters got and everything, he does that. And he's playing a bunch of other games too, like the new Star Ocean. That's out in the Pokemon Masters, which my friend cannot download. I'm so sad about that. That's going to be my new stuff for this week. <laughs> was the Pokemon Masters. Uh, they, they, I can't handle it, so i gotta got to have to find something else, which I think I got a couple of things in mind. Some notable missions on, on some new stuff. Um, I was... Probably going to do both these games last week, but I just went with Bombastic Brothers because one reminded me of a game I swear I'll never play again, and the other was just really, really boring. But uh, Dead Zed, it's a zombie shooter. You're like up on a platform and you have to shoot or kill zombies before they reach your wall. You know, um, so check it out. It's just really slow and boring. That was the boring one. And then State of Survival. It's kind of like an exploration build em up You know, but it has like RPG elements too where you're sitting there taking characters and walking around a map as well. And it, it's reminded me a lot of a game called Ark of War. For those of you playing Ark of War, I feel your pain. I hope you built up to the point where people don't mess with you because that game can get pretty brutal trust me i've done five playthroughs on five different servers and i've quit after two months <laughs> I, I just can't keep up with the people with the um big pockets or cheating like i like my third playthrough i've literally had a dude hack the game and attack me through my shield uh, that was the playthrough. I was known as the ghost because I never got hit. And this dude found a way to hit me through my shield. You know, it, I, it was just done. <laughs> but it is a really fun game, especially if you love hardcore part PvP. And when I say hardcore PvP, I mean there's no shield going up after you lose. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for which is typical for games like that. Like there's a little cooldown period. You know, after you get hit. You know, there's there's none of that. You know, um, it's just uh, after so many hits, your arc will teleport to a different part of the screen. Which is another really cool thing I liked about Ark of War was like you, your little home base is an arc, but you can sit there and move it around the map. You know, so it's a really cool feature. I haven't seen too many build em up games do that. You know, which is awesome. But it's State of Survival has all of that and more. So go go check those out. Um, um, yeah, I hope you guys all had an awesome, awesome day. And I will see you all later.